I actually um, think of people who want who, who sort of yearn for the old days. Mm-hmm. We all have this nostalgia. Make America great again. Well, no. <laughs> well, it was even before that slogan mm-hmm. came out, but but it mm-hmm. does fit with that mm-hmm. for sure. So I'm thinking that that people. Um, have sort of embellished those days gone by, and uh, they look more attractive than the tough times that we're in now. Mm-hmm. And that's where we want to go. We want to go back. Well, again, we we get. I, I'm a one trick pony, so I'll think about this psychoanalytically. You know, there um, there was a famous um, quote by Freud: "There are no lost certainties to be found." And the idea is that the minute we we look back, and Freud talked about this, and, and there's there's some really interesting research to back this up. That every time we remember something, we change it. So the mere right, act of right. saying, I want to go back to a better America, you, you've created a place that doesn't exist. There is no better America to go back to. I mean, there's a, I saw this meme and it struck me. Is that when a lot of these folks who were saying, uh, they're often older folks, a friend, uh, a father, one of my friends from Tennessee posted this and he said, I want to go back to a time when America was great. And then there's a meme that says, you want to go back to a time when I'm like, you guys... Hey, you're calling all of us now snowflakes and weak, but you guys used to get upset because you uh, had to drink out of the didn't want to drink out of the water fountain with people who weren't white. I mean, that's that's the America. I mean, uh, what were the statistics for uh, spousal abuse and sexual abuse, um, uh, racism? The America they want to go back to is 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 not there. Right. It's not a. Uh, doesn't right. it doesn't exist but but in in some way we we've, we've left out the bad parts we've hung on to the good yeah. we've created so you can't go home uh, mm-hmm. again it's almost that that it, and if you do it interferes with it the hawthorne effect is the mm-hmm. thing um, well, what's that, the hawthorne effect this is uh, well this is a notion that when you do an experiment just simply doing the experiment uh, interferes with the results. Oh so, yes, yeah. Yeah. So that that idea. Um, anytime you examine something, you change it by by the mere mm-hmm. uh, act. Mm-hmm. So um, I don't know. A confirmation bias is that? Uh, do we all have it? Is this a condition? Um, well, I, I, guess I mean, I, I, I believe what I believe, and mm-hmm. don't give me any outside ideas because mm-hmm. I like what I believe, and then I'm challenged mm-hmm. by mm-hmm. something, but. And on the other hand, we have to grow the mind, as you said. So we've got to, you know, get informed. We have to have information. I mean, we're well, in this information technology communication age now. So well, well, maybe we could, if we sat back and we ranked um, sort of confirmations that may not need to be challenged. Like for instance, uh, you know, I think Rice Krispies is better than Cocoa Puffs. You know. Uh, that probably You're absolutely wrong about that. But <laughs> okay, go ahead, I'll let saying, you. I'll let you. But that, that may not be something that's going to impact my life or destroy the world. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. So maybe the okay, majority of conform conformatory thoughts that we have uh, are best. Maybe the the automaticity that we operate under the vast majority of is good to have. We should right. op- We should think about. Right. You know, I I have a. You know, I I am not a huge fan of uh, of Kid Rock. Okay. You know. It's just not. No, I'm not. I prefer. I'll, I, you know, I'll put no something hundred else. No hundred hours with him over right, the weekend. Right, it's not going right? to happen. Okay, I got it. That probably doesn't. But some thoughts, our our, our bias, our our capa- and could be all that swirling about in climate change, for instance. Sure. Um, and I was uh, there's a guy who sort of uh, he's a libertarian. I was listening to one of his blogs, and he calls it climate change hysteria. But at the same right. time, there's also this notion that, you know, we're in the process of fiddling while Rome burns. And so what is the thought between those two points? And if we think the wrong thoughts or if we don't think at all, we could be in trouble. Right. That's different than the Rice Krispies. Yes. So, okay. you know. So, yeah. So there's a hierarchy there. and We have to figure out what's, what's really important Blueberry to us. Blueberry is really more my thing if Blueberry. I think about Blueberry. Blueberry. <laughs> They still make that. I, think I don't they know. do because a thousand cereals. But uh, the milk on, turned uh, blue, the like this weird blue, and it looked like <laughs> a medical condition. I remember thinking, this can't be.